Uh, there were some other possibilities that I want to talk about as well. Um, so, for example, uh, there was different probabilities, which is, yeah. Um, so, in another world, if you guys had, let's just delete this one. Let's just talk purely about this. Uh, this is another way where you guys can uh, not care about all the ones I did, which is the spears. So in this in this video, we can see uh, going through this particular method where the spears are rendered out and then duplicated everywhere else and replaced it. Uh, there's also another method where you only have it by half, right? And let's see that. So if I see my UV editor, if I select this geometry, uh, this geometry is literally the mirrored version from left to right. And because the circles create so much of a problem, uh, I just want to sort of separate them out. All right. So what I did was I select this UV, uh, this mesh. Um, I deleted this part, so I can see that uh, the switch off the symmetry. I can delete this particular piece. So I have this mesh around here, and uh, well, these extra nuts and bolts. Uh, I'm just going to hide it. Uh, then coming to my high res, uh, my high res, uh, I do have that one extra bolt over there placed into bake with this plane. So I'm just going to reload that high res inside so that uh, it can bake. Uh, then I have this low res mesh where I'm actually going to use the hardened edge in this case. So I'm actually going to cut this out and when I cut it out, I'm going to harden edge this piece. So this particular geometry, the vertex normal will look something like this. So let's reset the normals. So mesh display set to face. That will reset all the normals for me. Set to face. And uh, all I need to do is make sure that the ones that are not cut are to edge loop. So the ones that are not cut should look something like this. And these guys on a mesh display soften edge. Um, this, this one, I'm going to cut this out as well. And uh, come into this UV shell, separate. This UV shell, separate. I'm going to take this guy, merge it to that one. Um, this will be a separate piece. I've got some weird normals around here. Let's reset this one set to face, so that's fine. Cool, so I cut it out like this, and uh, let's just see the layout. So layout should look roughly like this. Uh, even this one, just gonna pull it out a bit, so you don't want bleeding UVs to happen. And, You can scale it up a bit in case you don't want to maintain pixel density. Uh, you can have different variations of the nut and bolt or the nut bolt. Right, so this should be our UV. And uh, yeah, this is the same high res. And later on, we're going to replace this mesh with uh, these guys. Okay. So what I have here is uh, I have these these pieces. In fact. Um, I'm actually going to take all of them. This solar guy. Uh, I tried out with this one. Will need an alpha map. Now, what if you don't have an alpha map? You're going to use a 3D mesh. So I'm going to use just one of these. Duplicate them. I'll parent it to this guy. I'll put it outside. Call this a spear. And that'll be the one mirrored later on. I just have to make sure that um, these UVs that I have, I'm just going to delete this one, these UVs and this and this, I'm going to move it exactly in the same place. So select and move. I can have different variations of it. For now, I'm just going to move it up there. Uh, I do care about texture density, but not now. Now it's just baking. So that's fine. Hide that. This will be our one geometry. 
and let's export this out. So file, export selection. Um, this will be our half. So I'm going to call this half. This will be our half low mesh. Half low, whatever. Smoothing groups are on. How to mama set? Create a new file. Uh, or we can just say this guy, you can delete this low res file import model half, half low. So we have this one. Drag this inside our low res. Come to our high res mesh and say reload. So we get that piece in between. So you can see uh, that's roughly there. It's not exactly in the correct place. Let's see if it's in the correct place or not. Come to the top view and come to this guy. down a bit as long as you have the same base cool there you have it that's the same high res the same low res file export selection half low Modify free swims home. Export it out again. Let's import our arrows again. Reload. Reload. For some reason it's not really loading this piece, so import everything again. There you go. So that's in the correct place. All right. So once that's fine, uh, we're gonna hide our high res and let's bake it out. So under baker preview. So it should be perfectly fine. The only difference is we don't want to bake all these circles inside. We want to bake the circles through that mesh. So when I come into this one, I want to say nuts and bolts, hide. And I'm only going to take one, two, three. That should be all I need. So file, export selection. And this will be four, half, high res. Um, so this high res will be for half high res we big there you go so that's kind of okay and uh, this should solve all the edges that uh, we get including any errors that we have no problem all right so now we have the nut bolt perfectly fine and that's a decent render Next up, we're going to do is we're going to replace it with our new geometry, which is going to be the same UV, same high res. The only difference is it's going to be this mesh, which is only half of the half of the piece. And uh, I think I deleted the rest. That's a mistake. I should not have done. I can always duplicate this and change it to the z-axis so that should be fine then I'm going to delete these two All right. then I can come in to this mesh and I can say just duplicate it, hide it and mirror in z wall space so that should be fine and uh, let me double check my UV. That should be fine. Cool. Now, time to export this one out. So, export this. Make sure this is freeze transform or else. So, come in here, freeze, free scale. Make sure the scale is clean. So, select this plus this plus this. So 
file export selection low res mirror and we can do another version where uh, this low res mirror so we can group this we can call mirrored and uh, when we bake this out it's a file coming here reload this entire thing low res mirror and preview and we always get this problem there you go now you know why Somehow they all got flipped. To the reverse the normals. That's all clean. Soften edge. That's also all clean. File export. There you go. So, uh, of course, that's, that's super low poly. Uh, we would, of course, want to divide that slightly more or push it slightly more in the inside, uh, especially not revealing all of the seam lines that are there. And so we come in here and we just push them slightly inside. Of course, I did this manually. It'd be better if we push them around there, around there. Of course, smoothing it is another choice, right? So doing UVs like this uh, is an easy way to, uh, to sort of stop some certain problems from happening again. And um, yeah, uh, it may look a bit low poly, not really a bit, but let's see if I try to smooth it out again. Uh, it, it does cost us a bit more than usual. And uh, of course, this is not what we would ideally want but um, it is an alternative that uh, sometimes you may need yeah especially if a silhouette has a big difference of a curve uh, in that case you would need more polygon okay and of course there was a easier way then to smooth it out it would be to manually have a decent cylinder to begin with and then um, optimize it but that's all easy um all right so that should conclude uh other possibilities that I wanted to go through um, doing doing this kind of thing and um, yeah I, I'll definitely recommend you guys to try it out and uh, you know have a look at what's to be done or at least doing it at least once um, I can pass you guys the files right? and maybe you guys can try to unwrap it in a different way and you know um, yeah, appreciate your feedback. Bye-bye.